A 60 by 50 yard practice area is organized with two additional 10 yard end zones. Reds and Blues play eight versus eight in the main area. The practice starts with the coach playing the ball into the blue team who keep possession and look to create opportunities to play through passes for attackers to move on to and receive in the end zone. If the team in possession is successful, they attempt to attack the opposite end. If, when keeping possession, the team find themselves under pressure, one player can receive a pass in the end zone or run the ball in there themselves. This area is a safe area. To play out of the safe area, the ball should be transferred through the cones to another supporting player, who plays back into the central area. It's a simply organised, simply structured practice. Uh, it's a possession-based practice where a team takes possession and tries to break down what you'd call organised defence or defences in numbers. Um, it's end-to-end. -end. You'll see that there are two zones, uh, free zones, one at each end of a 60-yard pitch. And the idea is for the team to retain possession until they can put one player uh, into that area, moving onto the ball to put his foot on the ball. He cannot go into that area and occupy it uh, he has to be moving forward onto the ball. That's the basic structure and organisation. And what we're looking for is the ability to retain possession, the ability to move the ball quickly, one touch sometimes, uh, to know how to support, when to support, and why they're supporting possession, uh, to turn quickly if at all possible, and to find people with accurate, precise passes. That's basically it. Good lad, play off you go, play from there. When you have possession, so when you play your games on a Saturday, your coaches would probably tell you, look, if you're going to play out from the back or you're going to play football generally, you'd want as much space and time as you can get in order to pick the right decisions. Now then, have a look at this circumstance here. I know you just conceded a goal. Now you've taken possession. <coughs> what now? Show me what you think is good play when you've got possession here. For instance, is it good play to have this number of players around the ball under this circumstance? If not, show me where you'll go. And give me a good reason why you're going there. Go on then. Sorry? Yeah, good lad, to pull defenders away. Now, what about yourself? OK, that position will be a problem for them because... Right, they can't see you, and chances are defenders get nervous. When they can't see you, the chances are they're going to give a little bit towards their own goal and they'll keep checking for you. That's not a bad position. Well done. Good lad. So, what we're saying is, look, push them as far up the field as they're prepared to go. Spread them out as wide as they're prepared to go. If you're in the middle of the pitch here, see if you can pick up a little space between players and sometimes behind players. So that's not a bad position at all. Can you make it even better? Good boy. Yeah, just give yourself a couple more inches. And if it's at all possible, know exactly what's going on around you. Where are they? What are they doing? Where are they likely to be going to? OK? Good. That's not bad. Good, good. Well done, Will. Well done, Will. That's lovely. Well done, young man. Okay, well done. I'll give you that. I'll give you that point. Okay, two little tits of blues. Off you go. Play from there quickly. Off you go. Sort out very quickly. Go on, off you go. Play on. Hold on, Will. That's 
stay where you are again. I've had the ball, John. Go back to exactly where you were. Now, it's almost the same circumstances you had before. Now, the more oranges that drop in there towards the ball, the blues are likely to come with you. Makes it very difficult to play around here. Anytime anybody's in possession, watch your job if you're off the ball. Right, if you can, if you're near to the ball in here, make yourself available. That's not a bad angle, good boy, well done. That's not bad at all, well done. Do you need three players in here? Now then, how about taking him away? Go on, take him away. You're not needed in there. Have a look, see what the circumstances are. Do you need to go towards the ball to support or how else can you support? So you can go to take the ball off a player, how else can you support? Well, you can go away from the ball, take defenders away from the ball. How else can you support? Well, you could stand still occasionally. Why would you stand still occasionally? Well, that's a good lad, yeah. Now, what if somebody's marking you here and there's a player in behind you that's free? If you stay here and he marks you, you're holding him away from a space that can be played through to somebody or a ball that can be played through to somebody. All right? How else can you support the player on the ball? So, you can stand still. You can move to a position where he can see you and thread the ball through to you. You can probably spin and get in behind and make a long pass down the sides there. How else could you support a player? Say again. Well, you could go close to him and take the ball off him. Now, what if you two were to change places? What do you think would happen with these two defenders? We don't know. So there's a possibility now, then, that you can change places with somebody. So if he takes possession there, look, just hold that for me, young man. If I start to move across here and change places with this fellow, we're not quite sure what these defenders will do, and probably they're not either. Sometimes they'll go with you, sometimes they'll stay where you are. Here you go, play. And hold it again. Hold it there, fellas. Now just give the ball back to the player who you received possession from there, look. You watch the great sides these days, look. If one of your defenders is under a little bit of pressure, like he is here, put him under pressure for me there, look. Your job. Go on, just drop off in here. Now then, hold on, hold on. Now as you drop off there, as you drop off to make a position where you can receive the ball, two things will basically happen that you should be looking for. What is it? Well, if you drop off into here, it might be players showing in there for you. Where's your friend on the other side? Where is he? Now, at the same time as he drops out, you can drop out there, look. Now, that might have the effect of pulling these two oranges towards you. Come on, then. Drop in here for me. Come in there, oranges, for me. Now, then. What's the effect now, then? What are you starting to... That's right. There's a little hole that you can get into. Maybe there's a hole that you can drop into. You can drop into there as well. So, any time he's under pressure, give him that support from behind. Know what's there. Know what's over there, and if you need to use him, use him early and use him quickly. If he drops in and brings defenders with him, or opponents with him, don't be afraid to drop off and take possession. Play. Now, can you change it to him? Good. Now, you've got to change across the zone there. Okay, good lad. Hold on. Right. The point of these two, uh, these cones in here, see? Good. Now you can drop into there. It's a similar circumstance as you just had. If your back players are under pressure, or a midfield player's under pressure, back players drop into here. If you're going to change the play, tell me how you probably best do it if you want to go raiding down that side. So he's got possession, look. If he's going to change the play, how best to do it? Do it quickly. Do it early. Good, you can always change it quickly. Good, well done, that's okay. Can you move it early and quickly? Good lad. Now keep on the move ahead of the ball. Keep on the move ahead of, well done. Keep searching for those positions ahead of the ball. Keep searching for those positions where he can find you. Between players, behind players, even dropping towards the ball and it blues. Well done, young man. Well done, it's a great little run forward. If the ball is played to you, if you find yourself in a little bit of space in here, look, so it could be a forward player that comes off, and I say to Will, I'm available if you want, Will. Could be. It could be a midfield player driving into here, coming into here to receive it. Now then, tell me about receiving the ball where? If I take the ball off Will now, two important things. What would they be if you can do them? 
turn, yeah, to, right, that's the most important thing. Anytime you go to take a ball off Will or take a ball from Chris, know what's over here, know what's around you. See if you can know before you take it. Now, if you've got plenty of room and there's no defenders or opponents anywhere near you, you've got a great chance to let the ball run forward onto your front foot, sometimes to let the ball run ahead of you anyway, because nobody's going to take it off you. But you need to know that circumstance. What would be the other thing then? So I need to know and think about your first touch. Does it need to be tight and close because somebody is closing you down when you've turned? Or can you have a bigger touch because there's a bigger space and you can run with the ball? Or don't even touch it. Just let it run and run onto the ball. And play off you go. Good. Can you turn it forward and keep it going forward? <sighs> Hold on, you're not getting away with that one. Now you tell him, Will, before I do. He's done terrific to turn. Why have you gone wide there when you could have nicked it past him? You watch the great South American players. Give it up. So you've come across here. Come in with me. Yeah. You've come with a, a lovely little turn. Show for me. Show. Go on. Give it that one. And now get the next return there. Now don't play square unless you have to. See if you can play through. See if you can play to forward players. So you've done well to turn, but then see if you can think about going forward with it. And play. Go on, play on. You get turned. Now there's a chance for you to turn, young man. Now, in an earlier attack from the Oranges, you had a lovely little bout of one touch. One touch, one touch, one touch, one touch, one touch. Now then, if you could, if you could, see if you can play two touch, or even better still, see if you can play one touch. So anytime you want to go through people, see if you can do it quickly using minimal touches. Sometimes when you play one touch, you'll have to push it a little bit quicker than the receiver would want it. Why? Maybe to make the mind up for them. Sometimes they get the ball between defending players. You've got to push it through very, very quickly. Now, if somebody gives you the ball quickly, your job really when you receive it is just to take the sting out of it as you give it to another player. So sometimes it's quick, it's soft. It's quick, it's soft, it's quick, it's soft. If you watch the real talent in the world these days, it's quick, it's bang, 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 and it's all quick, and then the final pass to people is just measured nicely. It's probably a slow one. Now, if you get the chance to play one touch now through people, don't be afraid to try it. Now, that means when it comes into you, you've got to be prepared just to drop it off nicely for people. You've got to be able to drop it off with a different surface, with a clever surface, and just set people up. But if you get the chance, have a go at playing one touch. Good, good, keep it moving early. Can you move it early and quickly? Can you do it early and quickly? Keep it moving. Good, well done, that's okay. That's all right. What a lovely pass. Well done, young man. Good. Play that one, off you go. Now then, can you slide it in? Good play, good play, good play, good play. Right. And just hold it there. Now, if, if the job now is to get behind that back four, okay, and we need players running around the outside here perhaps occasionally, tell me about the final pass. What's the problem of playing it into this tight area at the back there? It's got to be accurate and it mustn't run through. So it's like when you're playing on a Saturday. You want to play it in behind the back line, but you don't want it to run onto the keeper. So really, when you're sliding balls through for people, if you go to his feet, he'd probably want it quickly. If he's running into spaces, he'd probably want it a little bit slower. Now, have you got the ability? Can you do it? Can you play passes between defenders with pace, but give it a little bit of backspin? So in other words, you come down onto the center of the ball rather than punching through the ball. Keep it, keep it, keep it then. Keep it, keep it moving. Keep it and keep it moving. Well done, good. Good play, good play. Now can you slide somebody in? Good lad, well done. Now that's nearly excellent, nearly excellent. It just needs that little bit of undercut on it. Play. Lovely final pass, good boy, well done. Good run and a lovely pass, good. Well done, well done. Lovely stuff, good. Come on in, last couple. Good. 
and just hold it there. Now, you've got the opportunity now to use this ball in the air. When there's no pressure on the ball, and you're reasonably tightly marked, just come a little bit closer for me, and you're reasonably closely marked, come on this side, and you're reasonably closely marked here, what a great opportunity to escape. So there's plenty of space behind me, I know that, because I've had a look. The ball's been travelling, I know he can turn and will turn, because I know how he plays. I know where my marker is here, look. I know exactly where he is, because I've seen him out the corner of my eye. Great opportunity now as that ball travels from a centre back to a full back to get in behind. Just simply going there and having the ball play down the side or over the back of the defence. Great opportunity now for the striker. Are you going to come with me? To come short here, look, are you coming or not? I'm going now and spin him there, look, and have the one play diagonally. Great opportunity for you to do what? To get in behind him. Show me. Right, you might come flat and then dive in, or you just spin away and look for the long diagonal. So any time the ball's at the back, and there's no great pressure on the ball, even as if there's a degree of pressure on the ball, if you're a forward player, know where the spaces are, know where your opponent is, you've got to show him what to do. Spin off, get behind. Spin away, get behind. Come short and spin in behind. So now you can play short, one touch, one touch, one touch as you come through. But when you need to, you can always open up the play by clever running from forward players or even midfield players getting forward. Now he's in, he's in. Well done, young man. Well done, striker. Good boy. Well done. Good running up there. Can you slide him in? Good lad. Well done. Okay, and the last thing, just the last thing. Now you've got an opportunity there, and I don't know if this is in your thinking. Just give the ball back to the young man where we were. Just go back to exactly where you were, all of you. You know I've talked to you about using the ball, getting the ball in the air and supplying people, because you can't play through. Now if it's a bit tight there to play your young friend in there, look. Now you could make a run and we could play him down the side. Have you noticed football these days? What do the clever players do around the penalty area if they can't get the ball on the grass through? To a player. What do they do? That's right, those sort of things. Now, I, can you develop that capability? If you can't play one on the grass to play one in the air, and again, it dies in behind the defence. So it could be quite simply that you do that. I've seen Skulls do that many, many times. It could be quite simply, and if you watch Real Madrid playing last night, the goal that Ozil scored, even when he's travelling at pace, you just go, boom, that one. Because he's a little stub chip over the top. So, if you can't get through teams, you've done some terrific stuff. One touch, one touch, no problem here. If you can't slide people through on the grass, have a think about playing one in the air. And it needs a very steep climb. What else does it need on the ball? Backspin. So, when it drops in there, it holds up and poof, it's lovely for the striker to come into. So, you can use the ball in the air. You can put strikers in behind the defence from an early position. And you can use the ball in the air with clever backspin, particularly when it gets tidy around this box. Last one minute. Play, whatever's on. Off you go. Go on. Good thing he was. The purpose was to um, educate them and work with the boys really to, to keep possession uh, as they move forward. And what we're looking for is when they take possession uh, is basically to, people use the term dispersal, is to open out so that they create some space and time for themselves and quite often for the player in possession of the ball. If they change the play uh, because they can't go forward on one side, can they change it early? Can they change it quickly? Uh, and possibly go raiding on the side to which the ball arrives. If they are going to support players in possession, big questions, when do they support, why do they support and how do they support? And everybody thinks support's just about uh, moving to a position where you can receive the ball and it's not. It's sometimes holding a player, an opponent, um, in a position where he can't get anywhere near the ball and holding him away from a pass route for the player in possession. It's sometimes changing places with people, uh, it's sometimes literally just dragging a defender away. So try to get them to understand uh, what support really means. Would they be capable of playing one touch quickly? 
uh, using minimal touches, one and two touches quite simply? Would they be able to turn? Would they, what are the factors involved in turning? They would need to know if they can turn, uh, the strength of any first touch, if at all there is a first touch. And then of course when they do feed people with through passes, have they got that ability to see the through pass, play it off any surface of any foot and give it the appropriate amount of pace. Quite often that will involve a backspin on the ball and of course if they can't go on the grass, uh, on the ground when they play people through, are they able to lift it over the defence quite often over short distances which again would require clever play and some degree of backspin in many cases.